Hey everybody, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Wild Arms 2. We've got a break in the chateau. I wonder who it could possibly be. I'll give you three guesses, and the first two don't count. But, um, yeah, y'all should probably bail. Okay, so, uh, where do we go? What do we do? Help! Oh, okay, there, Odessa. Well, obviously. Okay, so we can kill them outright. Okay, works for me. Oh, hi, save lady. You teleported from the uh, first floor up here. Or use the elevator. That'd be more reasonable, but less fun. Now, let me go and uh, save here real quick before uh, stopping the elevators. I'm sure they won't mind us just waiting around and saving our game, you know. That's actually very polite of them to do that. Um, no, I, I did that last episode. I'm not doing that again. Nice try, bitch. Oh, hi. We have uh, Judeka and uh, Antonora. Hi. How's it going? Well, she actually kind of has a heart. I'm impressed. Oh, nice wave, bitch. I'm gonna stab you first. I think you guys, if you guys just uh, stay there, you'll be fine. Yeah, where's, uh, where's Tim in all this, by the way? Oh, he is in the, uh, chateau still. And here we have boss time! Uh, that makes uh, three boss fights in two episodes. I love it. And Tanora. She is a bitch, by the way. You'll see here in, uh, in this battle. She's kind of annoying. Oh, hey, hi, Loka. <laughs> oh, I kind of forgot about that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, attack her for a while. Uh, no lucky card. Let's go ahead and have Loka attack as well. Then I'll have her use a mage weapon on myself and Brad to start. Yeah, Antonora, overall, well, I'm actually surprised she's that slow, for one. But she has a couple of uh, AoE attacks like this, Shockwave, which will uh, hurt a good bit. And she can also deal some annoying status ailments, as you'll see, I'm sure, along the way. Let's go ahead and get Mage Weapon. Let's do it on myself first, and then I'll do it on uh, Brad next. And I think I won't use Access in this battle. I want to keep around the uh, awesome um, uh, Odessa theme music around. So, the battle's pretty easy as is, all in all, so nothing to worry about there. As far as healing goes, you all know the drill Mystic, Heal Berry, or Potion Berry, either one works. Oh, I'll uh, Big Berry. Potion Berries are in, uh, are in, uh, number three, and number one for that matter. Ow. Okay, that actually kind of hurts. Let's go and, uh, get myself healed up. Actually, no, I don't really need to heal. If my HP didn't suck, I would, uh, I would heal. <laughs> in this case, it doesn't, so. But yeah, I mean, Brad, level 21 for, for one thing, almost 3,000 HP. That's ridiculous. Although I will say what sucks, after a little while, well, actually after a decent while, your uh, HP growth kind of stunts. Like you only gain like 30 to 40 HP per level level after a while. But at that point, you're pretty much like, you're fine on HP anyhow. So okay, let's go and just do a bolt action. We'll have Brad attack one more time, and we'll have Loka um heal get myself healed up there. Yeah, I mean I don't want to die, obviously. Not that I will, but I just don't want to die anyway. You think that right there would just flat out kill a person? I mean, you're getting stabbed in the chest and shot in the face. I mean, you would die after that, you would think. But, you know, RPG logic, so, you know, doesn't really apply. Well, it, it should, but it doesn't. Dude, that can sometimes do status elements. Oh, you know what? No, I'm thinking of a later boss fight. Never mind. Sorry. Um, okay, now this point's just a shot weapon. Um, bazooka. Um, 
Yeah, I'll do heal it up. I'll use, I'll use a big berry. Why not? Yeah, I said that a couple episodes back. Next time I get, I'll uh, do some more farming for uh, more big berries, lucky cards, and all that fun stuff. Actually, I probably could have just used uh, a heal berry. Why did I use shot weapon? I thought I used bolt action. Nah, oh well. Same damage, essentially, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Bazooka just keeps on keeping on. I love it. Well, yeah, because you suck. Maybe if you didn't suck, you'd be able to buy more time. But you suck, so you couldn't buy more time. Because you suck. You see how it works? You actually didn't say wait, Loka. Oh, there's Tim. Hi. You clumsy oaf. <laughs> Watching American Dad right now, also. Sorry for the uh, pause there. Roger and Francine are practicing a dance for uh, a contest they're in. Uh, Roger was leaping through the air, Francine caught him, and she ended up dropping him. And she's like, oh my god, you stupid bitch, why'd you drop me? Why did you catch me, you stupid bitch? <laughs> Such a great show. I'm not the big love house, gee. Keep telling you this. Well, I actually have not seen that movie. I only know of the, uh, the reference to it. But, yeah. Apparently there's also like a Big Lebowski day where people like dress up as him and go bowling or whatever, something like that, I think. I don't know. Okay, can we um, can we stop the alarm? It's kind of annoying now. Thanks. Yeah, we'll just stay here and do nothing, because we're pointless and useless. Oh, yeah, he already had a Ordorian. He had the power of a Unicorn, so of course he's a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Silly guy, you have a gun in an RPG. Do you know how stupid that is? You'd think he'd know that swords beat guns every time. I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, hi. Hi, purple, blue light. Roar, dinosaur! That's was pretty cool. Oh, dragon, whatever. Same thing. Sure looks like it. I'm gonna yell at you, my prepubescent voice! And here we have boss time round two! Or part two, I should say. Here we have Judecia, first battle against him. Yeah, one thing I want to mention with Wild Arms 2, I love the repeat boss fights. His persistent uh, villains that are around like the entire game, you see them pretty much everywhere you go. Like, I love that about this game, among many other things. Um, that actually is kind of really severe, so don't do that. I'm gonna just flat out kill your ass. Okay, let's go and just, uh... Actually, let's go ahead and attack once to build up some FP. Just to use, um, Red Butte there. I mean, not Red Butte, uh, First Aid, I mean, sorry. Yeah, Jadeka, not really that hard. Although, actually, one thing I will say, let's give Tim the uh, Blue Anklet. Because he has one attack, I think it's called Douglas. Yeah, it's, it's called Douglas. That can, uh, I think sometimes paralyze you. And that's the one I'm thinking of there. One of his attacks can paralyze you sometimes. So, uh, that didn't really do much damage at all, actually. But, eh, that's okay. Ow. Yeah, after a while, I'll heal. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, first it should be able to heal, like, four, five hundred HP, something like that, I think. Oh, here, here's Douglas. He pulls out a shotgun from out of nowhere. But it, it's crappy, so. Pretty much, yeah, keep going with the Red Butte here, whatever elemental spell you have right now. I, any of them work, really. If you do actually have any of Tim's um, higher level spells, you can use them here as well. 
because um, they'll deal a lot more damage than the uh, single target ones. So, um, yeah, if you've, done, if you've done that much farming right now, then go ahead. But I haven't really had a chance to yet, so... Okay, this one will kind of hurt, actually. Or not. <laughs> okay, I thought you were more powerful, Judeka. You are telling us before, like, oh, like, oh, I'm so great, or whatever. But that was Tolbu that was saying that. First time you fought him, like, oh, if you would have fought your doctor, you would have got killed. But, uh, yeah, you're kind of really disappointing, actually. I'm, I'm sad at that. Okay, you should be dead, like, any minute now. I've set you on fire, like, how many times now? Apparently, yeah, uh, he's a uh, fire resistant. Must be nice. Do I use Combine here? Yeah, I'll use Combine, why not? Yeah, I have plenty of FP for it anyway, so I may as well. Let's see, let's go ahead and summon... Let's show off uh, Fendalon, why not? I'll try to show off the uh, different summons here with Tim. Molecular Break, that's a cool name for an attack. My, what long fingernails you have! But that actually may have been the very first time I've ever summoned Fenderlon in this game, like, ever. So, uh, yeah. There we go! Nothing too hard there. Didn't even need to heal, because I'm that good. Oh, hi. You guys came just in time, t after the boss fight. So, like, the way to go. Um, yeah, I kind of doubt that'll actually work. Blastodon? Sounds like a Pokemon, actually. We'll, uh, we'll get to a Pokemon LP before long. They set up us the bomb! Yay, more party members! And we have boss time part three! This is a rare treat to have three bosses in one video. And I will do the entire fight in this video as well, even though we're already ten, uh, twelve and a half minutes. Explosive Red Thunder Toad Blasted On. This dude's cool, I like him. He's like a living bomb. Hi! How the hell... how do they pull that one off? Yeah, that's tasty. Okay, maybe actually, I'm trying to think here. Do I want to do the boss fight in this video? It's kind of, sort of, long. I don't want to push it. Um, yeah, Irving does usually have uh, crazy ideas there. Okay, uh, sounds pretty easy enough. Well, I mean, that is true. <laughs> Your marvelous plan. Gee, thanks. Alright, so no pressure, but can we defeat the Blastodon and detonate the bomb? Find out next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been Iron Movie signing off, guys. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.